Do you want to make a shave stick out of your favorite soap because it's not available? Or possibly a pre-shave stick? Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today, I want to give you a DIY video. But first, I'm going to roll my intro. Alright, so uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a shave stick or a pre-shave stick. And uh, just a little disclaimer, there's a lot of ways to make something like this. And you can make it as simple as you want or as uh, um, complicated as you want. Or you can just find something already pre-made and and be happy with it. So this is how I did it, and there's many ways to do it. Um, the first thing you're gonna have to do is either have a soap that you're wanting to make a shave stick out of, or if you're wanting to do a pre-shave stick, you're gonna have to have some kind of glycerin soap or whatever you're wanting to use. <clears throat> now, the next thing uh, you're gonna need is some kind of container. Now, you can either order some containers similar to this, and this particular container has kind of a fault in it because you can see this little tray here is actually supposed to be at the bottom, but as soon as you start putting the soap in, it's not gonna stay there. The other option would be run down to your local Walmart and pick up a, a Brute deodorant stick and the nice thing about this I've sh kind of showed this in one of my previous videos is it has the solid bottom on it now the downside to it is that you have to manually push it and it doesn't always stay so that's kind of a you know hit or miss depending on your preference or you can find another deodorant uh stick and it should be a stick and not the gel now this particular one has a tray in it and uh, this I made this one into um, a Wilkinson sword shave stick, but the uh, the bottom piece that goes up and down used to have uh, holes kind of in it as well. You can see a little bit of the blue uh, trace in there, but I just kind of filled that up with hot glue. I know some people might say nay nay on that, but what do you do? You're DIYing. All right, so once you've uh, determined what you're wanting to do, um, your soap and what have you, this is one that I actually did with the Arco stick, and I've never uh, had an issue with, you know, putting that on, because I know that's not what it is. Because, you know, like with the Arco stick or any of the other hard soaps, kind of like that Wilkinson sword, you can try to you know, gently peel this label off, but as you're using it and it gets wet, it just gets messy over time. And so this kind of what I came up with, gravity still works. Okay, so um, I kind of cheated a little bit. I I do have, or I did have um, some clown fruit uh, bath soap and I took the label off. And once I was done, I'm skipping some steps. I just cut it down and put it on here so I knew what it was. So the other little tip or trick that I was going to tell you was out of that bar soap uh, container, I just cut out a round circle and I placed it in there and then lowered it down. And then that way, when you're either taking your spoon and scooping out your soap and putting it in there, uh, I just let it all the way down and packed it in there. <clears throat> now, if you're doing the... Uh, like a hard soap, you can go steal your wife's uh, cheese grater and grade that and then pack it in the same way. That's what I did with this one. And it it works nicely. Sometimes it sticks a little bit, but it does work. And, you know, DIY. Now, the one downside to this is if you're doing any kind of soft soap, let me take the lid off here. And you can see there... Um, there's like a little tab or indent that keeps the soap from spinning as it's going up. Now the soap is gonna to be too soft when you first do this. So you can either do this and just, you can either take the soap out and just let it sit, or you can just even leave it there for 
whatever time until it gets hard enough for the way you like. Or if you want to supercharge it a little bit, you can run down to your local Dollar Street tree. I think Walmart even carries these. It's the the little humidity control thing, and it's got the little beads in there. Well, if you take the top cap off and bust that out, you can set that soap puck in, in there and then cover it back up, and that will help rapidly pull out any of that moisture. And then once you've got it to where you like it, you're just going to uh, screw it back down, put the lid on it, and if you haven't already, put the label on it, and that is a perfect shave stick. Now, um, I just put the label on it and ran a razor blade right across here, and then that way it looks nice. But that's kind of what I did, and like I said, maybe you guys have made something like this already. I haven't really seen any uh, videos for it, but I really didn't look either, so it was just something I kind of came up with. I know that uh, PAA sells, you can buy, there's like some things actually come in, in a shave stick, or you can buy these containers here, uh, and it's the same process um, if you're doing your DIY deal. This is a, a factory one, or a, <laughs> I won't say factory, but one that Douglas actually made. And I never looked down at the bottom of this, but let's just take a little look-see. Because if you leave it in the container, yeah, see the bottom only has where the uh, thread is holding it. So that's that's what's going on there. But if you leave that um, in the container after you've pressed it in there, it's going to take forever for that to uh, dry out, for it to be hard enough to become a shave stick that you can actually apply on the face. So... Uh, I've made several of these uh, here recently and put them through the, the test and they worked well. Uh, I didn't have any issue with the scent, um, you know, strength or anything being reduced by this because once you put it on your face and you, you add the uh, water and you start lathering it up, all that brings the scent oils to life and it, it works great. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Have you made a uh, shave stick or a pre-shave stick? Let me know how it went, or is this inspiring you to go out and make your own? All right, well, it's Wednesday, and I've got to get out of here for a little shave, and I will see you guys on the next video. You have a great rest of your week.